IPEVA offers a range of workshops for both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander workforce as well as non-Indigenous health professionals. All of our IPEVA workshops are informed and facilitated by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. And we do that to ensure that our IPEVA education is grounded in a strength-based, healing-informed and trauma-aware approach. It's also important to ensure that our education is delivered in a way that embeds our ways of knowing, being and doing. And for our workshops, that means using yarning, dididi and dharma practices. So for those that don't know, uh, yarning is an exchange that we do very intuitively in our culture. It's similar to a conversation, but much deeper. It's a two-way equal space where we come together and weave information with open honesty and a genuine holistic connection. And most importantly, each person in a yarn gains something. And when there is more than two people in a yarn, like our workshops, this becomes a circle. And similar to a circle, there's no one that is in front or behind. Everyone is equally positioned. And everyone has something to offer to the yarn, which is valued, respected, and important to the growth of those in the yarn. But of course, to grow and be open to that, we need to be open also to receiving the insight that the particular spirits involved in the yarn have to offer. And that requires us to be open and listening deeply. And that brings us to our second practice in our workshops, which is Dididi. So Dididi is a beautiful practice of deep still awareness and listening. And it was gifted to all Australians from Dr. and Auntie Miriam Rose on the birth in Daly River in the Northern Territory. Now we have so much noise, you know, going on in our minds and we attach to our thoughts in a million different ways, consciously and un unconsciously. Which of course means there's no space for truly listening and connecting to your spirit and or self, let alone having the capacity to truly connect and listen to someone else's. So we tap into this practice time and time again during our workshops with the goal of drawing from this deep listening and still awareness to find the Ghana. And that brings us to our final special practice in our workshops. So Ganma is a Yonglu word and it's used to describe a lagoon in Arnhem Land where the river meets the sea. And where those two water systems meet, a foam is formed. And that foam is made up of both salt water and fresh water. And the Yonglu people have drawn on this lagoon as a metaphor for how Aboriginal knowledge, which is represented by fresh water, and Western knowledge, which is represented by salt water, you know, mix with each other to form the creation of new knowledge. And that's generated from an interaction and a collaboration of Aboriginal and Western knowledges. And the foam that is formed represents deeper understanding and truth. However, you know, for that foam to form, there has to be balance where the two streams meet. Otherwise, one will be stronger and, and harm the other. So in the workshop, you bring your lived experience and knowledge and we bring ours and together we yarn in an equal space with deep respect and listening to find the gamma or the new knowledge and we hold it gently so that we all benefit from its richness. <laughs>